Battle Bays and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Andrea Siobhan and I'm currently a sergeant in the United States Army. So it's been a while since I've actually sat down like this and made one of my main style videos. I think the last one I actually sat down and made is when they made the regulation changes and things like that because I was super excited about the regulation changes with my nails, my earrings, y'all. <laughs> I'm living life. But like I said, it's been a while since I've actually sat down and made a video like this. I've been posting a lot of vlogs. Vlogs have just been easier for me to keep up with, especially with the 68 Charlie program. And I barely was able to keep up with that. Let's be honest. <laughs> I've been so inconsistent lately. But I am excited to be getting back to my regular style videos. You know, the ones that I started with where I would educate you guys on the army based off my experiences and answering you guys' questions and things like that. I don't really know how much my videos really help you guys, but they're there. They're there if you need them they're there if you are interested in the army if you're considering joining if you are just curious i would consider subscribing so i got a new camera can you tell <laughs> one thing that I've been trying to improve is the quality of the content and stuff like that that I put out earlier when I first started my YouTube channel I was just learning so I really didn't care much about what the quality and things like that looked like more so just trying to get comfortable in front of a camera actually work on my approach to making my YouTube videos and things like that just understanding being a military youtuber versus just being a regular youtuber because there is certain things that you have to make sure you're not violating and doing wrong when it comes to not only YouTube terms of service but the military as well so I'm just you know perfecting my craft so to speak just just trying to find my creative style if that makes any sense and now that I kind of feel like I got that I kind of know what I'm going for I just decided to kind of up the quality just a little bit better so I got a new camera I got some gear you know I got a few different things I was actually going to film this video still using my G7 X Mark II because this is the T4i and it was used of course you know I, I ain't big balling just yet <laughs> But I got this for a really, 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 really good price on Amazon, so I purchased it. But one thing is the autofocus noise. So right now it's not on autofocus. The autofocus noise is really loud. So before I can go ahead and use the autofocus, I did invest in a external microphone as well. Unfortunately, that's not gonna get here until Monday, but I still wanted to give this camera a try. Cause I kind of want to edit and see what the difference in this footage is going to look like so i'm super excited about that but yes that's one of the things that i've been working on and that's honestly why my content has been kind of inconsistent because i've been wanting better quality guys when i say i did a whole entire vlog and i had so much footage and some of it was actually pretty good footage i deleted everything because when i started putting it together the storyline just wasn't there it's like i was just all over the place like what in the world did i vlog what day was this what was i doing what am i talking about the quality wasn't there i wasn't satisfied with how i was turning out no matter what type of edits and stuff i did to it and i just deleted everything i said you know what i'm gonna just start over and that's what i've been doing a lot lately so if a video isn't out in time it's probably because I was working on some type of project and I deleted it so I'm trying here you know I'm trying and if you have any tips as well on things that I can do to better my content make sure you let me know like for real for real we gotta bounce ideas off each other okay so moving on to the NCLEX so guys I passed the NCLEX I am now a licensed practical nurse I am an LPN and I am super excited I'm so happy that I finally made it past all of this you know I'm done I'm, I mean I'm done that's all I can think about is thank goodness it's over I took the test on the 6th it took a little bit of time like two days or something like that but even with that two days I felt like I was waiting forever to get those dang results on whether or not I passed this test or not we were all doing the PVT test the checklist test and those little tricks that you try to do to see if you passed early or not like indicators and stuff like that but uh, until you get the actual confirmation that you passed that test ain't none of that gonna matter you gonna see it and you still gonna be like but did I pass did I pass though like did I really pass or whatever but just know I passed I'm super excited I'm I'm just so we graduated on the 16th and to be completely honest um I expected myself to feel a little bit differently. I thought I was gonna feel like super excited. I thought I was gonna feel like over the moon. Like, I, can't think I, 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 I did not feel that, y'all. 
and I still don't um, maybe it just didn't hit me yet don't get me wrong either don't get me wrong I'm super grateful I am proud of myself I am um, I'm happy you know I'm excited I just <laughs> that anxiety kicks back in when it's like oh dang I just finished what I needed to do I'm on to something else and it's just going into the unknown once again and I'm just like man and on top of that I didn't think that I would I really didn't but I'm going to really miss my instructors I'm gonna really miss my soldiers you know I wish I could take my soldiers because I was a squad leader for a nice amount of time and I wish I can take my soldiers that was in my squad and take them to my next unit with me because when I say I had a perfect group I had a perfect group my soldiers were they were on their shit okay whoever end up with either one of my soldiers y'all you you got gold period you got gold I had I'm telling you I love them so much and I'm gonna miss them so much and my instructors I've had horrible chain of command I've had way worse chain of command and coming here I've had some great chain of command it's just the thought of going back into the unknown that I just don't know what to expect I spoke to my sergeant major here and he said he knows a sergeant major that's going to my unit to take over so he's not worried I shouldn't be worried I'm in good hands but it's still you just don't know you never know and so I'm super nervous I'm about to be the new soldier all over again I'm about to be and not only am I a new soldier I, I mean I just got promoted honestly well okay well last june i've only been an nco for not even a year and the whole time that i've been an nco i've been in training so i'm about to be a new soldier in a new unit again with a new mos newly promoted kind of it's i don't know what to expect okay i just don't know what to expect in a whole new state it's just crazy I just don't know but we'll see other than that graduation was really nice it was it was formal but it wasn't too formal you know we we looked good we sounded good everybody was super happy everybody was congratulating us one of our old drill sergeants from first phase ended up showing up and we were super excited about that because we absolutely love this drill sergeant so it was just it was just really nice okay so we're moving on again on to the next thing i have my opn license so i'm a licensed practical nurse what are the next steps for me what's next who's that y'all i'm trying to be nosy look out the window i can't even see i don't got my glasses on okay <laughs> okay so i have my nursing license what is next for me honestly something in my mind is telling me that I should be going for the PA program, but now I don't know if I want to do the PA program or continue my nursing education and go for my nurse practitioner. I was looking for LPN to RN programs. As of right now, I think I'm just going to go ahead and stay on the traditional route. I'm going to continue my civilian education for nursing, and if that takes me all the way up to L to LPN. If that takes me all the way up to nurse practitioner, then it takes me all the way up to nurse practitioner. I don't know what I want to do. So I have passed my NCLEX. I graduated from the 68 Charlie course and now it's time for me to leave and y'all I'm scared. I'm not going to even lie. I'm super nervous. I really, really wanted Korea. I did not get Korea, unfortunately. I did not get Korea. It's, it's fine. Whatever duty station I end up getting, I'm going to make the best out of it. So I asked you guys a few videos ago to guess my new duty station and a few of you guys actually got it. It is official. I will be, hold on, let me get these orders so y'all can believe me. So according to these orders, I will be going to, let me get a drum roll. <laughs> I will be going to Fort Bragg, North Carolina. Yep. At first, I did not know what to think about this news, but honestly, it is what it is. And like I said, no matter what duty station I go to, I'm gonna make the best out of it. So I've just been trying my hardest to get ready to go there. I've been packing like the past few days. These people are coming in, okay, it's Saturday. They're coming Monday to pick up all of my household goods and stuff like that. So I'm ready to go. I don't really know what I'm about to be doing yet. I don't know what unit I'm really about to be in yet, but that's where I'm going. I will be in Fort Bragg, North Carolina until further notice, guys. But I know that's all y'all came for was just to be nosy and know my next duty location. It is Fort Bragg. That's honestly all I have for 
this video just a quick little update if you have any questions or anything or any um video ideas comment them down below because like i said i need to do more of these sitting videos i know we like the vlogs but i need to get back to my roots and where i started okay so i think that's all i have for this video and besides i think my camera's about to die anyway so i will see you guys in my next video bye